Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a cool trick on uh, Linux that relates to swap space. So, on Linux, swap space is generally a separate partition that is created during installation that is used kind of as a, well, you probably know what it is, backup memory. If you run out of RAM, it'll uh, take some of that RAM and put it on the hard drive, and it'll be a lot slower, but uh, you have a lot more of it, so these days it's kind of used as a backup and it's a kind of a big deal to have partitions dedicated for this because it's not something that gets used a ton on a regular basis so this is going to be a uh, tutorial on how to use a uh, file instead of a separate partition to do that so this is the partitioner uh, I'm just going to do a quick demo of how to set up a uh, Linux system on a single partition for those of you who don't know. So click the drive, create an empty partition table, create a partition, take all the defaults. I'm going to change this to, to ext4 just because. And finish. And it will actually ask you, are you sure you want to do it without swap space? Uh, just hit no because it's asking you if you want to go back and then yes right change it to disk so um yes that's just because I have a kinda messed up virtual machine right now but so yeah just install it on a single partition and then we'll set it up on a file later alright so we got our uh, system up and running this is system monitor. You can see we have a zero swap space and we have one gigabyte of uh, actual RAM. Here's the hard drive. It's got uh, a single partition that is the whole system and for some reason it ended up with a megabyte at the end there, but no swap space. So, root terminal. Uh, I guess go to root. Anyway, here's uh, what we're going to do. So we have to create a swap file in root. I actually like to put mine in a slash swap. So uh, here's the command to actually create the uh, file. dd space if equals slash dev slash zero. And then space of equals slash swap and you can put this wherever you want. Uh, I just like to put it in the root slash swap. And then afterwards, uh, bs equals 1 capital M. I think it's capital, we'll see. And then count equals the number of megabytes. So I'm gonna do 1024. I usually like to match the physical RAM unless I'm really, uh, running short on disk space. So this will uh, create a one gigabyte swap file in slash swap. All right, and if we uh, look, we can see there's one gigabyte in swap, and this is the root of the drive. So uh, next, we got to format it to be a swap file. So that's uh, mk swap slash swap. Alright, and then uh, no swap. What we do is swap on slash swap. And then see, we have 1024 megabytes of swap space. Now to set this up as uh, something that just auto mounts when you boot up your machine you're gonna have to edit slash etc slash fs tab and all the way at the end you're just gonna add this line the file you created your uh, swap space on tab or space swap and then tab or space swap again tab or space defaults tab 0 tab 0 I believe that is correct.
Yep, okay, so now when we reboot, we should have still 1024 megabytes of RAM. So we reboot and we can see we have still one gigabyte of swap space. So this is a really useful tool for things like servers that can't be powered off because you can resize partitions, or not a partition, a swap file, and uh, you don't have to power off the machine. You can just unmount it and then resize it or replace it or move it and uh, you know swap it back on and it works just fine. Uh, it is a little bit slower because it's going from memory to the file system to the disk instead of straight from memory to disk but like I said before if it's mainly used as a backup system it's not going to have that big of an impact if you are using swap and it's used as a backup system then you have other issues that you should probably look at to fix first uh, I wouldn't recommend this if you actually do have a machine that uses swap often although if it does use swap often then you probably want to upgrade your RAM. So thanks for watching and I hope this helps.